Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy, The Real Deal, and today we are going to be doing something I never thought I'd be doing. We are going to be doing a clan boss video. Um, so it's going to be the uh, Batman Draco. Um, and the reason I want to do this video is I actually had some struggle. Um, I had a bit of trouble trying to get the speeds right. And there's nothing worse from going from like having a team that works to a team that doesn't work. It is quite stressful. But don't worry, I'll talk you through how to sort that out and get the right speed so it works for you. Um, and so what happened was about two weeks ago, there was a two times sacred and I was lucky enough to pull myself uh, Draco. I wasn't too happy at the time, but you know what? He is not a game changer. He is a life changer. Um, so, you know, um, to, four, to get four keys in a day, I was getting up at 5 a.m., then I was doing 10, then I was doing 11, and then 6 p.m. And, you know, that's a lot, you know, to get brutal nightmare and ultra nightmare, that's, that's a lot. But now I only have to use three keys so I can have a lion. I get more sleep. It's great. Um, you know, when you get to my age, you know, you need as much sleep as possible. You start to get eye bags and stuff. I have to moisturize. And yeah, now I don't have to do that. I can just stay in bed and sleep. It's amazing. Um, so first of all, um, we'll have a look at my old team and I'll talk about how I transitioned from my 60 mil team to a one key team um, and also how I use the Guardian faction. I'll share to you Deadwood Jedi's website to make sure that, um, you know, that you do have your unkillables on. Otherwise you will die and it will be failed runs. And yeah, and then we'll look at the boss run and then we'll go through gear and masteries. OK, so let's have a look at the team. Yeah, so this is my old team. Um, it is Warcaster, Skullcrusher. Renegade, Seeker and Ninja it is also an unkillable team. Um, it's great. It works on Void and does like sort of 60 mil damage, but it's very inconsistent. You know, um, say maybe three times a week it would fail. and I'd only do like 10 or 40 million damage, which is quite frustrating. Um, and what I would do is I would hit Ultra Nightmare, Nightmare, and then in the afternoon, back in the evening, I would use my old, old school clan boss team to finish it off and do sort of 30 mil on the clan boss um, and fat man would be replaced by frozen banshee as well so um i'm going to show you how i transitioned from this unkillable team to my current team using excel because i am a massive nerd and i use excel all the time for raid so let's have a quick look at that okay so on the left we've got the team that i want to change to and on the right we've got my old team so this is like the gear that you need um, and these are the speeds that I need and um, these speeds didn't actually work for me um, so I had to use these ones and then accuracy is not really important it's just Draco who needs 240 yeah um, Seeker doesn't need speed uh, sorry accuracy Painkeeper doesn't need accuracy and the man eaters you definitely want to have no accuracy because they do throw out debuffs which will reduce your damage so that's really important um, so these are so Warcast is my fastest champion and what I would do is go to the fitting room, put on the gear from Warcaster onto Maneater to see if it would work. And it did. So then what I would do is just change it to green. So I know that one works. Spare just means that was just spare gear that I had laying around. So that was all right. So just put that on second Maneater. And my ninja was in relentless gear. So I just had to swap that over to Draco and just make sure I got those right speeds. Um, so yep, yeah, did that. So that was all good. So tick that, make that green. Um, and then yeah, so I already obviously I already had Seeker, but my Seeker was a little bit faster. I think it was like two five six for that comp. So basically, I just had to reduce his speed. Uh, speed, and that's pretty much it. So also the other thing I've done as well is I used my faction guardians. Let's just come out of this quickly. Yeah, so I don't know. I just feel like it's such a waste because I know a lot of people. Fair enough if you've already beat, uh, built your um, unkillable team. But if you haven't, it just feels like such a waste to lose out on these stats. Uh, what is he? Ogun Tribe. Yeah. So basically I was missing out on these stats. So what I, the first thing I've done was I just quickly uh, chucked these all in. And then I transferred all the speed across. Just to make sure I get you know a little bit more attack. Um, and just to use that speed as well. Because um, you need as much crit damage and crit rate as you can on the on uh, the man eaters so having that 
six less speed to get just means that you can um, just get those extra substats that you need. So really important. So let's see. I think we've checked all the boxes. Let's just check. So now we're on Deadwood Jedi's website. And first of all, you want to put in the champions and then you want to put in their speeds. And it's only the champions uh, that have any sort of, if they've got Laura Steel, tick that. If they've got um, any speed sets, then you can choose. So Maya Pinky was in two sets of speed, uh, but then Seeker and the Man Eaters are all in triple speed sets. So you just come down and tick that. Um, and then you can prioritize um, their abilities as well. So her A3 needs to be the highest priority. That's the cooldown reduction. Uh, and then for the man eaters, um, this one, the slower one, we want to delay his A2 by one turn. No, that's wrong. We want to delay his A3 by one turn. That's why. Okay. Um, but so now when you look at this, you can see unkillable is up all the time. And this is what you want. So all unkillable there. And that shows that this should work. Um, say you do it wrong. Like I just did a minute ago. Oh, no. So we'll say we delay this one. Then you can see there's gaps. So like here, that's a gap there. So that means half your team would die. Failed run. So that's the that's Deadwood Jedi's website and that's showing how it all works. And also you want to make sure you prioritize the right abilities, but we'll go through that in a moment when I show you the team setup. In fact, let's do that now. So Draco, we want to pr prioritize his uh, Baithful Eye, Painkeeper, um, A3 first, then A2. Seeker just does what he does. Um, and then we want to open with Ancient Blood on the faster Man Eater. The slower man eater, we want to open with Siphon, is AT. So let's get into the run. What I'm going to do is I will speed it up for you, do like four times speed, because I don't think anyone really wants to sit there for 20 minutes watching it. And then we will do the masteries and the gear. i 
73 mil come on that's what i'm talking about so draco 32 mil painkeeper slacking a little bit 6.8 mil uh seeker putting in some work at 12 mil and then the manny is at 10 10 mil a pop not bad at all boys not bad um but yeah the only thing is i'd say draco and painkeeper could definitely do some more damage but it's enough to get that one key i'm happy I hope you're happy too. Let's have a look at those gears and masteries. Okay, so first up we've got Draco, who is in Relentless and Crit Rate. Uh, crit Damage Gloves. Taps in his chest and Speed Boots. Uh, banner is Attack. Oh, sorry, no. Accuracy. Uh, crit Damage. Uh, necklace. Would like to have more accuracy on there, but never mind. And then we've got an attack rig with triple roll of attack. Very nice, very nice. Um, total stats, uh, 4k attack, 220 speed, 110 crit rate, bit of uh, overkill there, and 218 crit damage. Would like that crit damage to be a little bit higher, maybe 250, 260, 270. And then accuracy, 241. Uh, skills, fully booked. Uh, all these champions are fully booked. Then masteries, uh, don't know why that happened. Uh, let's go back into it. Uh, masteries, they've all pretty much got the same masteries. Um, so really important thing to note here is to take that Grim Resolve. Um, so basically most of the time your champions will have less than 50% HP. So this will help increase their damage by 5%. Um, yeah, so pretty very standard. All about just getting as much damage as you can on the boss. Uh, next up, we've got the Man Eaters. So, uh, first we'll do the faster Man Eater. So, total stats 208, sorry, 2.8k uh, attack, 267 speed, 109 crit rate, 146 crit damage. Obviously, that once again, you want that crit damage to be around 260, but it is enough to uh, help you one key that uh, clan boss. And accuracy, you want that to be as low as possible. Um, so, gloves. Ideally, you want them to be crit damage, but unfortunately, I only managed to do it with crit rate gloves to reach those speeds, which is fine. And you still one key that uh, Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss. Then we've got attack chest, speed boots, um, attack banner. 
then the crit damage neck and the attack ring. Uh, did I do the masteries? Uh, so masteries, same as Draco. The only reason I don't want to take cycle violence because I'm worried that if you uh, reduce a skill, it might mess up the run because it's really important that um, you have that unkillable and block debuffs throughout the whole run. So you don't want to take that. No real point in taking that because no one's going to be dead. Um, and he's not going to kill anyone, so you don't want to take kill streak either. And I didn't take Terence because um, there's always going to be block debuffs up, so it's pointless. So you're not going to get any extra counter attack. And Cycle Revenge will mess up your 10 meter, so you don't want to take that either. The only thing I would say is I could have saved myself um, some gems and energy and not done those extra minotaur runs and save myself those 200 scrolls but never mind you live you learn so next man here same mastery is fully booked uh gear we've got a uh, crit damage so get out my way okay we've got crit damage gloves attack percentage chest speed boots uh, attack banner Sorry, this lag, this lag is killing me. Okay, crit damage necklace, uh, attack ring, which would be so much better if I did have some more um, attack percentage on there, but unfortunately I'll, it's the, the best rings I've got at the moment. Okay, so we've got 2.9k attack, 247 speed, 67 crit rate, definitely like that to be 100, and then the crit damage 190, 250 to 270 would be a lot better and in that accuracy to be as low as possible so next up we've got seeker as you can see he's a great champion i've got two built for arena one built for a defensive team and one for an offensive team so he has crit damage gloves tap percentage chest uh speed boots uh, then we've got a crit damage necklace uh, attack banner and attack ring total stats 3.6 attack 248 uh, speed 88 crit rate 205 crit damage as I said before want that to be 100 want that to be 250 accuracy not important at all uh, masteries yep yeah, very sort of standard build um i think i'd already fully max him so like i said these two aren't really important on him but never mind don't know why i took terence on him um but yeah because it's not really gonna be anything really i should have taken that chance to counter attack but never mind yeah not sure i did that um must have built him quite a long time ago but it works it works for the run could squeeze out a bit more damage though just by copying the man eaters masteries and doing that and last up, we've got Painkeeper. So she has two speed and crawl. Um, crit damage gloves. Attack percentage chest. Speed boots. Crit damage necklace. Uh, attack uh, banner. So actually I could roll that out to squeeze some more damage out. And also a attack ring not glyphed up either um so she has 3.k or is it 3.1k attack 247 speed 95 crit rate and 219 crit damage and then those are the only stats we care about uh masteries as you can see very bare um so there's not really anything that i really want to take on here and what i really should have done is i should have uh used laura still first and then worked on her gear um, just to help with the speed, but never mind. Um, yeah, that was just a mistake on my behalf. And you could maybe increase her healing, but then again, you want that Grim Resolve, so no point in really taking that. And then you don't need increased accuracy, and you don't want to take anything that's going to mess up her turn meter. Uh, you can't uh, have counter-attack on her because of her A1 increases her turn meter, so that will throw everything out of balance. Um, yeah, so pretty standard crit rate, crit damage, just all that sort of attack. 
Um, you don't want Life Drinker on her. You don't want her. I mean, not that it would happen, but she's not going to be killing anyone, so it's not going to increase her speed. Um, and then these are all sort of useless masteries for her, and these ones as well. Um, yeah, so that is the team, that is the gear, that is the masteries, that is the, you know, and it's full auto, don't have to do anything. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up and make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.